Hey there, welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Catchy OS. Uh, they had a major release because of uh, Plasma 6. You know, all these new systems are doing releases right now because of Plasma 6. So Catchy OS is one of them that's done a major release. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it. So this is going to be a uh, first look at Catchy OS with the new Plasma 6. So right here on the website, it says it's blazingly fast and customizable Linux distribution. Catchy OS is designed to deliver lightning fast speeds and stability, ensuring a smooth and enjoyable computing experience every time you use it, whether you're a seasoned Linux user or just starting out. Catchy OS is the ideal choice for those looking for a powerful, customizable, and blazingly fast operating system. And you got a couple of screenshots and a couple of messages here, like discover the benefits and it tells you what it all has to offer. All right, so I've got it up in the virtual machine already. I installed it. It uses the Calamari's installer, so it's a simple, straightforward installer. So uh, let's head on over to the virtual machine and take a look at Catchy OS. All right, and we are on the virtual machine now, and we have a welcome screen. It says, Welcome to Catchy OS. Thank you for joining our community. We, the Catchy OS developers, hope that you will enjoy using Catchy OS as much as we enjoy building it. The links below will help you get started with your new operating system. So enjoy the experience and don't hesitate to send us your feedback. So you got three sections here. One is uh, documentation. So you have a readme, release info, and a wiki. Then you also have support, which has a forum and I guess in this software support. And then you got a section here that says project. Get involved, develop it, and donate. Then you got a button here for apps, tweaks, and install apps. And you also have a, uh, a language selector here. So if English is not your language, then uh, you would try to use one of these other ones. All right, so uh, I'm not sure if these are gonna open up uh, web pages but uh let's click one no it's uh it's just right here it's just handling in hardware so it gives you uh information about your hardware and about your uh aur repository catch us wiki arch wiki things like that and then the release info this is our second release in 2024 and it's mainly a maintenance release to bring kernel updates the major glibc update and a cleanup of the live iso this release is mainly done to have a new ISO before Plasma 6 will be released and its changes to QT6. Here's a summary of the changes. Eh, has all the info right here. And then the wiki is going to be a, a website. So it's telling you right there that it's going to take you to another way. All, pretty much all the rest of them except for get involved. Get involved is here. It's local. Then you have this button right here that says apps tweaks. So let's click on that and see what it does. Profile sync daemon enabled, system D O O M B enabled, app armor enabled, BF tune, BPF tune enabled, Ananasy CPP enabled, Bluetooth enabled. So if you know what these options are and what they do, then they're here for you to set them up. Then you got some uh, fixes right here, like system update, reinstall all packages, refresh key rings, remove DB lock, clear package cache, and remove orphans. Rank mirrors, change DNS server, catchy OS package installer, catchy OS kernel manager. So let's see what the package installer looks like. Is it just going to be a terminal or is it an actual program? No DB found. Please run Pac-Man SY to update database. This is needed for the app to work properly. So I guess we'll start off with a system update. Okay, so I did a full upgrade and I rebooted the system. So now let's get back to the apps and tweaks. And what was it? I was trying to look at Catchy OS package installer. So let's go ahead and click on that and see what happens. All right, that's for a password. All 
all right, so it's just a, a list of curated software for you to install. So you got audio, browsers, communication, development, games, graphics, input method, internet, kernels, mail, multimedia, office, other, package managers, video, and virtualization. So from right here, you would just click on the list. And if you want to install one of these programs, let's say for example, uh, let's do uh, Audacity. I'll do that one. Click on install and it runs through the thing. And then we see the following packages were selected. Click show details for a list of changes. I'll just click on OK. If you got uh, something like this, they need to put no confirm into the list. That way you're not asked for the why and all that. But let's go. Cool. You know, it works. Then you got a section for your repos. So you can set up your repos and console output. All right, and it does have a little about here. Catchy OS package installer version 21.7.02. All right, go ahead and close this. And then we have a Catchy OS kernel manager. So let's take a look at this. So got a list of kernels right here that you can uh, install right here. I'm not going to play with this right now because uh, I don't want to mess up the system. So I'll just click on cancel. All right, and this is the uh, apps and other things, apps, tweaks. And then I'm pretty sure install apps is just going to open the, uh, the one that we just saw earlier. Uh, but let's see. Looks like it's uh, stuck right here on this, so uh, I'm not really sure what's going on. All right, so maybe this is stuck. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close that out. Let me see if I can open up the window uh, the welcome again. All right, well, I can't find the welcome, so, I don't know. All right, well, this is a catchy OS, and it is using the Plasma 6 to, uh, desktop environment, which is the latest and greatest of Plasma. Uh, you can see this is one of their wallpapers right here, and the panel, it's a floating panel, so they let you know it's Plasma 6. So, it is a uh, pretty standard, you know, got your uh, layout with the system tray on the right, you got your plain applications on the left, and your application launcher. So the pin applications right here, let's see, we got Alacrity, which is gonna be your terminal. And I'm gonna make this bigger. So I find it uh, odd with these systems that use uh, the opacity in a terminal. I mean, it, sh it shouldn't be this much because it makes everything uh, kind of hard to read. But uh, I mean, it's not, the, it's, not, it's not a deal breaker or anything like that, it's just, uh, just makes it a little difficult to read, but you can see right here it is catchy OS Linux. The kernel right now is 6.7.6-1. The uh, desktop environment is going to be KDE Plasma 6.0.2. And you got your other information right here. You got your uh, window manager, window manager theme, theme, icons, font, cursor, terminal, terminal font, GPU, CPU, memory, swap, disk, local IP, and locale. And just for giggles, let's see if they got HTOP installed. Unknown command HTOP, how about top? They do have top installed. So let me see, on CPU, we're running 1.8, 0.9, and 0.0. I'm looking for the RAM, all memories right here. So it's using one, almost two gigabytes of memory. And on the swap, it's using uh, 46 megabytes. All right, and is there about on this uh, Alacrity thing? Let me check over here more actions i think that's just for the window setting itself all right we'll go ahead and close that out and this right here catchy browser a web browser i believe it's using a firefox browser it's just customized 
and they're calling it the Catchy Browser. So Dark Reader help. I guess these are apps that are updating since it's the first time we open them up. Catchy. And under the help and about Catchy, 123.0.1, Catchy Browser for Catchy OS. Catchy Browser is designed by Catchy OS, a global community. All right, and then we have Dolphin, our file manager. So standard file manager, got your regular normal folder layout. And on the about, it should be version 24.02.0, Dolphin. It's a file manager. Then you also have your uh, system settings right here. So the system settings on the uh, KDE is where you can control your entire system. So you just look at this menu right here on the left and it'll give you all that you need to do with your system as far as theming, backgrounds, you know, appearance, workspaces, connected devices, internet, everything, input, output, security, privacy, and your system. And we have a little section right here that says session and it is still running the catchy hello. A number to load logs, try refreshing. So let me go ahead and stop that. There you go. See, that opened up the welcome screen again. So they're not calling it welcome, they're calling it hello. So let me try on install apps again. It's, yeah, it's the same one that we saw earlier. It's just uh, labeled differently, but it's pretty much the same thing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that so it doesn't boot up the next time we log in. And I'll click on stop now. All right, so this is your system settings. And I'm pretty sure there is about, and there is, it's right here. System settings version 6.0.2. All right, then we have our application menu. So the application menu is pretty much laid out in the most standard way. You got your options on the left and the output on the right. So you got favorites, all applications, development, internet, multimedia, settings, system, and utilities. So if you look at all applications, it's basically laid out in alphabetical order. So this is pretty much everything all in one spot. It's not a whole lot installed, so it's pretty cool. Keep it simple. So under development, we have a menu editor, your QT apps, and user feedback console. Then under internet, you have your SSH VNC clients, Catchy Browser, and LFTP. I've never seen LFTP, but I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be something like FileZilla or something like that. But it looks like it might be a uh, terminal based. So let me look at the about and uh, see. Oh, see, I see it is console. So yeah, it's a terminal based uh, FTP client. So you just basically SSH it into your. All right, and then under multimedia, we have Audacity, which I installed with the uh, Catchy OS package manager. And this is Audacity 3.4.2. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be the same about that we just, I don't know if it's different, but get the same info, Audacity 3.4.2. So Audacity, you can use this to uh, edit your audio files, import files, export, edit. You can select all kinds of things with uh, Audacity. And under effects is where you can do a lot with it. It's basically what I use for uh, this audio that you're listening to right now. So it's a good tool. Okay, so yeah, uh, we just took we just looked at a uh, multimedia. Now let's take a look at settings. So we saw system settings already. Then we got another tab here for system, and in system we have you know terminals, zero conf browser. Uh, oh, so this is where the welcome screen is at. Catchy OS help, Catchy OS kernel manager. So pretty much all the things that you're finding to help, along with other things like file manager, fish. 
KDE Partition Manager, Console Menu Editor, Octopi, and Octopi Cache Cleaner. So Octopi is another uh, software uh, manager. So on this one, see, this one has a proper team theme, so I can see everything right here. I just did a, a look at this, uh, maybe one or two videos back, but the theming was so, so weird that I couldn't see the, the, the icons right here. So, uh, it was throwing me off. Well, let's see. Let's install Bluma real quick. I'll show you how to do it. There's two versions. So I'm guessing the bottom one, since it has a dot one, it's the latest one. So I'll click on install. And then, yeah, I'll check on that. Okay. And then I'll, boom, hit the check mark. Select yes. Give it the catchy password. And away it goes. Yep, and that's it. And on the help, let's see if we have it about. And we do. And it is Octopi version 0 0.15.0. Qt5.15.10. All right, so I just installed Pluma, so this up text. And like I said, it's a simple program, it's just a text editor. So uh, it did tell us one version it was already, but just for the sake of the video, it's Pluma 1.27.0. And right here, you can do your code and, and code it out. Or you can just use it as a, as a regular text editor. So it'll work either way. All right, so got backgrounds right here on your, if you right click on the, on the desktop, and it's this right here, this configure desktop and wallpaper. So you click on that. Looks like this is the only one they have. So I don't know, open container folder. Yeah, it looks like they're all variants of the same one. But uh, you know, you can install more if you need to. All right, and to get to the themes, you just open up your system settings and go under appearance and style, get to color and themes. And right here, you got your breeze, breeze, twilight, breeze. You got colors you can change up. There's even a button here for night light application style, plasma style, window decorations, icons, cursors, system sounds, splash screen, and login screen. All right, well, this is a quick look at our catchy OS. Just wanted to take a quick look at it because you know, everybody's doing the whole plasma six thing, so. It's no different here. All right, so uh, if there's something you want to take a look at, I have the videos down in the video description so you can play with it and have fun with it. All right, but that's going to do it for me on this video. And I'm out.